click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends myself professor uday bhukri now i am welcoming you on your own youtube channel ekida if you are watching this video for first time i request you to please subscribe to our channel and also press bell icon so that you can get the latest notification from our end today we are going to discuss ca inter course accountancy subject and we are going to discuss topic fire insurance claim and right now we are moving for question number 4 So question number 4 is in front of you right now. Let's go through the question. On 20th of October 2000 X1 the go down of go down and business premises of Aman Limited were affected by fire. From the salvage accounting record the following information is available. Stock of goods at 10% lower than cost as on 31st march 2000 x1 can't i say it is the last year's closing stock and important it is 10% lower than the cost and we know that the stock should be valued at cost okay so i will uh, say that ki this amount is 90 i will make it 200 purchase less return so during the period purchases from 1st april x1 to 20th october x1 so i can say ye mera memorandum trading ka period hai from the date of last balance sheet up to the date of fire sales for the same period this also will be taken care in your memorandum trading account additional information sales up to 20th october 2000 x1 include 80000 for which goods have not been dispatched goods had not been dispatched now if you remember my lectures i say that the sales will include only those goods which are dispatched by you here we have not dispatched 80000 So I will minus eighty thousand when I come to the sales in this period. Purchases up to twentieth October two thousand X one did not include forty thousand rupees for which purchase invoice has not been received from supplier, though goods have been received. That means it is unrecorded purchases which will be added here. Past record shows. A gross profit rate of 25 percent. तो आपको GP ratio ready made दिया है. तो we need not to prepare memorandum uh, trading account of the last year. Value of the salvage from fire is 31,000. This we will minus when we prepare a statement of claim. Aman Limited has insured the their stock for rupees one lakh. तो ये भी your policy amount. Okay, so in this example, we need to prepare directly memorandum trading account. We need not to prepare trading account because last year's GP ratio is ready provided to you. So come to your page and uh, please draft your memorandum trading account. We are talking about Aman Limited, so I am writing on the top Aman Limited. memorandum trading account from the period 1st april x1 to 20th october x1 this is a period for which your memorandum trading account has been drafted let's make a format so we have drafted the basic things now let's go ahead with the presentation and uh, uh, writing of the amount see they have given you stock of goods on 31st march x1 can i say it is the opening stock on 1st april x1 so on debit side to opening stock opening stock is 2 lakh 16000 
but they are saying that it is undervalued by 10 percent undervalued by 10 but it is low uh, it is lower 10 percent lower than the cost so upka cost of 100 hai, so it is valued at 90 can't i say like this so this is 90 so what is your undervalued amount that i will add i will add undervalued undervalued 10 will be how much so simple cross multiplication will be done and we will be able to get the answer so 2 lakh 16000 24000 so can't i say the total amount of this will be 2 lakh 40000 theek hai Next, purchase is less return in this period is 280 but in that also we have to do some adjustment number 2, fine. So I am writing here 2 purchases. Two like 80,000. What's given in information number 2? Purchase up to 20th October 2000 X1 did not injure 40,000. For which purchase invoice has not been received from supplier. Though goods have been received. If goods are received, it is purchases for us. So I will write add. Unrecorded purchases. 40,000. Outer column it will be 3 lakh 20,000. Next thing is given sales during the period 620, but there is also again adjustment. So buy sales. Six lakhs twenty thousand. Let's see information number one. Sales up to 20th October 2000 X1 include 80,000 for which good had not been dispatched. But the good dispatch in anyway, so score sales cannot be counted. So I will minus from my sales 80,000 minus not dispatch amount not dispatch is 80,000 so 80,000 I will minus it is 620 minus 80 is that 540 okay then they are saying past record shows a gross profit rate of 25 percent to your gp ratio is 25 percent so directly apply 25 percent on sale In our example, sale is five lakh forty thousand. So five lakh forty thousand into twenty five percent. One lakh thirty five thousand. In this way, we have completed preparation of memorandum trading account. Let's close the account. You can see that debit side is heavier. So let's close and find out total and get the balancing figure 2 lakh 40,000 plus 3 lakh 20,000 plus 135,000. 695,000. Minus five lakh forty thousand. One fifty five thousand is your by closing stop. As on date of fire.
okay it is not enough we have to also prepare a statement of claim so let's prepare statement of claim stock as on date of fire See, as per your memorandum that you have found, your stock as on date of fire will be 155,000. From that, you will minus salvage. What is your salvage amount? In the question, they have mentioned your salvage amount is how much? 31,000. So, 31,000 is your salvage. So what is your amount of loss? One fifty five thousand minus thirty one thousand. One twenty four thousand. We will also see that whether stock is fully insured or partly insured. So I will compare two things. Policy amount will get compared with stock on date of fire other way around like and the stock is compared with the policy amount what is your policy amount one lakh what is your stock as on date of fire 155000 can you say stock is greater policy is less under insured i can say therefore average clause applicable because under insured one therefore claim amount is calculated as below claim amount is equal to amount of loss into policy amount upon stock as on date of fire amount of loss is 124,000 policy amount is 1 lakh and stock as on date of fire is 155,000 let's work out your answer 124,000 into 1 lakh divided by 155,000 it is 80,000 so your policy amount is less than stock amount so average clause get applicable so your calculation is once again 124,000 into 1 lakh divided by 155,000 so it is your amount of claim it is your main answer okay in this way we have completed our question number four which is very easy question very basic level question no more efforts are required in this this topic as I said the topic is very easy fantastic and you can get full marks in this if you still have any doubt in this question, please put in comment box. We will try to reply to your comments. And thanks a lot for watching this video. God bless.